Eminence Front X5 and Larry Ward here coming to you from a very, very, very windy, windy desert. I don't even know if this is going to be using a little audio or not, but I'll give it a shot. Even with this windsock and this nice microphone, it's so windy, I don't think even that's helping. I'll give it a shot. We're in a place called Evelyn. Evelyn is a, uh, an abandoned location uh, built by uh, the American Borax Company. It's named after a uh, person named Evelyn. She was the wife of one of the executives at the American Borax Company. It was named in 1907. I don't know when it was abandoned, but uh, all that remains right now is this round circle, this roundabout that we're walking around right now. But that's not what we're here for today. It, it kind of is, but it, it's not at the same time. Some of these uh, explorers don't go as planned, like this one. Uh, there's nothing here. There's a story here, but there's very little else. There's uh, evidence of the uh, highway crews practicing their lines and whatnot and dropping off some extra materials that they don't need. But other than that, there's not much out here. This is off of 127. And like I said earlier, we're not out here for that. I'm out here to give you more of a trip update. So the trip update being, uh, the, the heat is, at, is back in Death Valley. That means my trips out here are very limited in scope as to what I can do. Uh, just the other day, it got to about 102, 103 degrees out. And that was enough for me to remind myself that uh, I need to start looking north of here. So my, uh, my explore videos will, will start to slow down during the summer, but I'll still try to do those. We deal with different aspects out here in this desert, not just the heat, but the winds. This wind is insane. Um, so in place of some of that, uh, I'll be doing product reviews, uh, stuff that I actually use. I've done a few in the past. I kind of like doing them. They're, they're fun. Uh, gets me to research what else is out there as well, so I'll, I'll do that. So that's coming. Uh, product reviews, what else? More hiking videos versus explore videos. And maybe how-tos as well, how I actually get what I d get done out in the middle of nowhere. It's easy to do YouTube, if you ask me, but getting out into the middle of nowhere and dealing with the elements like I do, rain, wind, cold, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a bit much sometimes, but... Man, so yeah, you know, I actually have a story to tell you guys a little bit about uh, why I'm not wearing sunglasses. Well, I kind of blew it. I messed up because I, I thought I had my, uh, set my sunglasses down. I thought I had set them down and, well, I guess I didn't. They were still on my hat when I took my hat off and threw it on the ground. Should, probably shouldn't have done that. And when I did that, my glasses went slamming to the ground and well, that, yeah, I think you can put put one on one together and come up with what happened next yeah I killed my glasses poor things but previously to that I had some very nice Prada sunglasses and uh, they you know, paid a pretty penny for those things when I started my trip those were the first things that failed on me my sunglasses lost their protective coating due to the heat and dry environment that I was in. They just fell apart. So Prada's a piece of shit. Uh, sorry Prada. But I ended up picking up, uh, about a year ago, I ended up picking up another set called Writers and that's uh, from a company out of Canada, I find out. I contacted them to see if I could do a product review on one of their uh, product, uh, their products, their sunglasses that I, I actually just broke. They agreed and they're sending me out some sunglasses in replacement for the ones that I broke in return that I do it a review of their products, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I already know they're great glasses. Um, they survived even me for a year, and that says a lot for any sunglasses out there. But uh, yeah, they survived, and I really miss them. Not only do they protect, uh, they actually provide a lot of uh, enhancements to to seeing. I've got the polarized lenses as well as uh, some anti-fogging uh, coating on mine, and uh, the ones that are coming. And that's what I had before, exact same pair. So I'll be doing a review on those glasses here very soon. Um, and yeah, Riders, check them out. Uh, Riders Sunwear, I think is what they're called, or sunglasses. R-Y-D-E-R-S. I'll try and put some information in the description below. But keep an eye out for some reviews coming up. Uh, uh, I, got, I, 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 I just did.
did a, a shoe review, which are actual shoes I actually use. So these aren't uh, products that have been paid for, but uh, I've already paid for them. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, so that's the update for now. Uh, again, heat slowing me down on my Explore videos. However, other videos will be taking their spots. Uh, more and shorter videos coming. So sorry for the short delay. Had some sound issues. I'm going through yet more sound issues. Uh, with my cell phone so I'm actually adding on an external audio recording device one more thing to lug around with me because my cell phone and my uh, my Nikon just don't cut it that's the update Evans Front X5 and Larry Ward coming to you from the middle of freaking nowhere California